Jason, how are you? Hey, how you doing? I need some place to test this electric turbo thing I've been working on, and I need someone to drive. That's not a problem. I mean, I'll drive whatever you got there, and uh, have a place, uh, airport at Berkeley Springs, that we can we can make that happen. What's a good day for you? Friday would work good for me. Okay, I'll just drive the car up. I've got a better idea. I mean, you're a ways away. Uh, why don't you meet me at my place? We can throw up my trailer and take it the rest of the way up. I think it's like about 90 miles away, and I'm gonna guess you're what, about halfway? Yeah, I'm at least halfway to that, so it's a bit of a hike for you. Here's a tentative game plan. We're going to do two hits on motor. That should be enough to establish repeatability, and then two hits with the electric turbo, and, you know, hopefully everything stays together and doesn't burst into flames. So here we go. Here's our here's our crew of people. <laughs> Say your names. John. Jason. Michaela. Juliana. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this thing. By the way, that's what happens when the blower tries to get out. Oh, yeah. It's that, and then look at the fender over here. Mm. Yeah. So that's, that's another reason why we're doing this. So there you go. That's it. There it is. Yep. It's blue. It doesn't look as dangerous as it actually is. Oh, I could imagine. And the battery pack is the equivalent of a pound and a half of TNT. I brought my my bulletproof vest. I think you'll be okay. <laughs> so it's pretty straightforward, it's just a glide. The trans brake is the button right at the base of the shifter. Down There's there. a GPS in See that little black button? Right like attached yep. to the shifter. Yeah. That's it. And then the batteries go in that wooden box. Right now they're in that explosion proof uh, bag over there. Nice. So this is a real street car. Yes.
when I get down here, you're the fluff guy, right? You're the fluff listen, guy. Listen, listen. <laughs> Jason Smith. Three, three, three times, three, three out times, three loser on street outlaws. Yep, yep, yep. One, <laughs> one uh, all out live. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But three time loser on street outlaws. Don't yeah, no hold back. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I mean that that pass was good. Uh, everything felt good. It, it's just the bummer is when we look at the data log. You know, I mean it's. It's just a little weak on the bottom. I mean, it's going to be. It's only 308 gears on a glide, right? So it's not going to leave hard. Right. And, uh, you know, I mean, we have two consistent passes. We know what it does. I'm a little disappointed in the mile an hour, but we're at 1,700 foot, foot Yeah, yeah. We, we have a lot of altitude and uh, a you know, monster we got a headwind. And a, yeah, the headwind is uh, ridiculous today. So. so here's the deal, okay? So what we need to really... This, this one scares me, okay? I'm not gonna lie to you. So again, on the leave, trans brake, as two soon seconds. as you mat it, two seconds, because it's gonna activate. Two seconds for it to, to get up to speed. And then basically just hang on. If right. something goes weird, if something goes sideways, yeah. you have to lift. Well, that or, you know, I watch air fuel, this, that, and the other, and I, I watch things. So if, if anything, it sounds funny, looks funny, whatever, right. we'll get out, abort the run, and, you know, there is go an, back and look at there it. There is an air fuel safety system. So if the engine dies, it's because it went lean for over okay. a second, okay? So that will that will catch you. Okay. And and just don't get back into it because I'm not necessarily trusting right. the drive on the, uh, on the electric turbo there. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's go plug it in and stuff some air in. God, I'm nervous. All right, let's do it. All right, let's do it. I wanted to jump in here real quick and give you a lowdown on the gauges that Jason has at his disposal to monitor the electric turbo. So the green readout measures current. Right now it's measuring 0.8 amps, but that decimal point goes away mighty quick when the electric turbo starts turning. The voltage gauge, the red gauge, measures 67.3. Right now 67.2 would be batteries fully charged, 67.3 amps, close enough. The blue display measures battery temperature. Right now it's measuring 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Also keep an eye on the boost gauge. The boost gauge shoots right up to five PSI and pretty much stays in that area the whole run. Check it out.
It's a Let's really see. impressive piece. That is definitely for sure. And uh, there was no fire. There was no smoke. It uh, got loose on you. <laughs> it, it, it moved around a little bit, but hey, I drive through that kind of stuff. So we don't lift here. I'm so glad you hit the draggy. Let's see. So it looks like we picked up one and a quarter seconds with this thing. Let's see what the mile an hour is. 126. 14 miles an hour from an electric turbo. See, and it's so much better when you can actually study everything and not have to try to drive it to figure it all out. That's, yeah, I'm loving this. So, th so thank you guys for all coming out. Thank you. Hey, thank yeah, you. It was Thanks a pleasure. Sorry. Thank you. Eric, here you go. Here's Eric. <laughs> Where's John? Hello. He's <laughs> Where's John? Over there. Oh, Eric comes. Johnny. Yep. <laughs> 14 miles an hour. Hello. Hi. Outstanding. Hey, let's do it again. I'm swerving. Well, actually, it's going to go faster on the second hit because the batteries are going yeah. I think we could probably sneak it into the tents. Good. I think he's gonna be pretty impressed with the numbers this time. <laughs> Cause she was rolling. I think it's fast is faster, I really do. I, I, it felt like it, uh, but you, know, I think so. you never know. So you look at the data. I, now, once again, I just killed the power. I didn't hit any other switches. A little faster, you think? That was a 1058. What was it? 1058. 1058? 1058. Hey, how did batteries feel? Let's try it again. <laughs> They're lukewarm. 60 foot, 156. Wow. Yeah. Sticky, icky, doing the job. Indeed. On a new a 1058. Johnny, Johnny. Wow. Look at that cheesy smile. Uh, why don't you put a camera on your own face? Hey, <laughs> Outstanding. 1058. I knew it was a better pass. I want to know what the mile an hour was. What, uh, what, what was our eighth mile? Yeah. Six and you got to remember, this is... This is on a no prep, no prep surface. I mean, you can see the ground. It's this is nothing. There's nothing here. And to take a street-driven car like that is uh, outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. An electric turbo is impressive. Yep. Wow. Wow. So there you have it. Our first electric turbo test hits, and there's a lot more left in it. I'll be putting together a separate video where we analyze the data logs, but right now I wanted to thank Jason, his crew, and family for coming out, trusty Eric, and of course my Patreon supporters, as well as John over at John Bomb Performance, the great folks at Z Batteries, Jeremy and the crew at APD that made the ESC that didn't blow up, and Raphael over at Our Mama Brushless, where I got both my TP Power Motors from, and everyone else who pitched in with ideas and took the time to talk to me about this seemingly crazy project when we started. After we get this thing in the nines, then maybe we'll build a big one and put it on one of Jason's big block grudge cars. Hopefully you'll consider subscribing as well as becoming part of the team that makes this possible on Patreon. Oh, and remember the burnout we started with? Those piles of rubber were smoking for a long time and then this happened. The scary thing is, this is real. I really need to find these slicks anyway. Like I said, those are, they've been sitting for two years, but they're probably four years old. That's crazy. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned and subscribe. There's a lot more electric turbo action coming down the pike. <laughs>